The gate swings into the stretch. Third race field picks up speed. Here they come. And they're off and a good clean start for the six of them. A good beginning in the center. Baby Long stalking Rockets out, takes advantage of her early get up and go and takes command early for McNair. Though it'll be a short lived lead, it appears. Adair Castle not going to take any chances. McDonald sends her right to the top. So the compact field will be led by heavily favored Adair Castle as she's on top a length and a half going into that first turn. It's Baby Long stalking who works out the pocket trip. Mischievous Rose is up close third. Sandra fourth, fifth inside to Portofino. Fino gapping early by three is pencils down in sixth. The opening quarter, pretty sensible, 28 and three to the back stretch they go, and Adair Castle is leading the field up to three eighths. Baby Longstocking rides in the pocket spot, two lengths to Mischievous Rose, that same gap to Sandra, then Portofino, and the trailer remains, pencils down. Six pack in single file fashion, nearing the midway point, and McDonald's got them all in the palm of his hand here. Adair Castle getting away with easy speed thus far. She's down to the half in 58 and 1. She'll lead them into the far turn with a 29 and 3 second quarter to work with. A two length lead for Adair Castle as McDonald revs up her engine now and she scoots out to a three length lead with three eighths to go. Baby Long stocking, then Mischievous Rose, Sandra to the rail, Portofino, and Pencils down. Three quarter bound. And it's Adair Castle on top by three with Baby Long stocking second. Mischievous Rose still at the rail third. Sandra fourth, three quarters, 126 and and two. That was a 28 and one third quarter, quickest stands of the mile, and Adair Castle brings it into the stretch as she's in sprint mode here, coming up to seven eighths. Baby Long stocking off the ground, saving trip is inching in. Outside comes Mischievous Rose, and she's in with a shot. Adair Castle's going to have to be tough here. On the outside comes Mischievous Rose, and it's Mischievous Rose on the outside to play giant killer. Mischievous Rose, as getting it done was wah again in upset fashion. It's Mischievous Rose to steal the super final from Adair Castle in 154. She's a sprinter. It turned into yeah. a sprint. She just needed to be close. Well, we're here's track side of the winner. So again with Louis Philippe Wah already back here, back to back wins in the OSS Super Final. This time aboard Mischievous Rose, a horse that you picked up the drive just a few starts ago. Uh, only one victory so far this season. Been chasing Adair Castle tonight. You get the better of her. Yeah. Uh, even I told Luke before, it says the rail isn't the best spot for a trotter, but uh, the fact it was a short field, I said there's not, not much panic. Even if like you, you'd like to sit behind at our castle, follow her, I knew that the uh, Doug's filly was pretty quick off the gate. I, I honestly didn't even try to live with her. I knew she would she would be crossed over, and then we'll have to sit third. But I actually like the fact that we had a slow half. I know my filly, she can sprint a lot. Uh, I think on the long term at our castle, when, when they go f uh, fast fraction, she seems like she never gets tired. So I said, if we got a shot maybe tonight, that's just, if it's a sprint down the lane, it, it could help us, and it did. And how soon in that stretch drive did you know that you were going to get the better of her? Because she usually kind of kicks away tonight. Your filly just kept on coming. Yeah, we were trotting really fast down the lane. Uh, like I said, that mischievous result. And she showed that before, too. Uh, even at two, she would come flying home for a little piece, be very fast. So uh, in a sprint in a sprint duel, I really like my chances there. And she was on top of her game tonight. All right, Louis, congratulations. Back to back for Louis here tonight. Let's bring in uh, Luke Blay. Luke, listen, uh, you know, uh, Philly, that kind of been, a, I guess, a hard luck one in the sense that she's only got one victory in the season, but it's just because she's been chasing one like Adair Castle. How happy are you tonight to be in the winner's circle with her? Yeah, very really happy, I think. Uh, uh, you know, uh, to win the to win the final, 
in the goal. It's a, it, it's a, it's a plus to tonight. Uh, that mayor, she uh, she always be close, but we can we can not enough close of the uh, the horse of uh, Mark, but uh, but tonight uh, I think we she she feeling good and um, like uh, uh, Louis says. Uh, uh, the, the the fraction was good maybe for her and turn turn right for us you know yeah and the, the range of emotions in this sport right tuscan prince looked like he had a really big shot in the last obviously jumps it off some unluck there but uh unlucky moment for him there but you know let's talk about the emotions and right bounces right back with a win with mischievous rose yeah that's uh, that's a emotion that was a little bit disappointing uh, uh for uh, mr uh, my owner and uh, bob because we we uh, we have a big hope on that horse, the, the way he raced last couple of race, and but that's 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 the game, you know, that's the game. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. congrats again, Luke. Mischievous Rose gets it done tonight, upsetting Adair Castle in the OSS Super Final. He's in sprint mode here, coming up to seven eighths. Baby Long stalking off the ground, saving trip is inching in. Outside comes Mischievous Rose, and she's in with a shot. Adair Castle's going to have to be tough here. On the outside comes Mischievous Rose, and it's Mischievous Rose on the outside to play giant killer. Mischievous Rose, as getting it done was Wah again in upset fashion. It's Mischievous Rose to steal the super final from Adair Castle in 154.